Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. Today we're going to do an, another movie review. Um, one of my favorite romantic comedies. <laughs> you know I like my romantic comedies, right? Serendipity! Okay. Um, for our next couple weeks, I want to do movie reviews on Christmas related stuff, okay? It doesn't even have to be Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer or Elf or Miracle on 34th Street or something like that. It can just be like Die Hard, okay? A movie that takes place during Christmas, but it's not considered a Christmas movie. Okay, you get what I'm saying? So Serendipity is one of those. The movie starts out during the shopping holiday season, okay? Um, it stars John Cusack, who you probably would know from Thin Red Line, Con Air, 2012, Igor. <laughs> and then there's Kate Beckinsale, who you probably know from Pearl Harbor, um, the Underworld movies. I know her best from, you know I'm a fan of House in Wonderland. She was in Alistair the Looking Glass, okay, it was a TV movie. She had this beautiful British accent in that movie, and she she had it in this movie too, okay? It's so sexy, so sexy, man. Gosh darn it, these glasses. See, when you see the light right here, it's like a magnifying glass, the sun burning a, 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 a little ant or something, you know? It's, it's not from just your Annie to see it, it's blinding me on this side too. So, okay, the movie is directed by Peter Chelson, whose other only movie he's directed, as far as I know, is the Hannah Montana movie. <laughs> but he did a good job on this one, okay? Serendipity was a well-directed movie. It had some good actors and stuff like that. Now, there is no way I can talk about this movie. I've already done a previous cut of this video where I don't try to spoil anything, but honestly, spoiler alert, okay? So these two people met <coughs> during the holiday season. They went on a date and they thought they really hit off, okay? So what basically what happened was John Cusack's character, who was also named John in the movie, um, won her number, okay? And, you know, if a girl pro pulled this on me, I was like, screw you, okay? Um, but she was like, I'll write my name, I'll write my number in this book, okay? I'll sell the book, and if somehow you find the book, then you have my number, okay? <laughs> and, it was like, and it's not a one-sided one deal, okay? He has to write his number on a $5 bill, uh, you know, pay for something, and then if, if the $5 bill ends up back in her hands, then they are meant to be together, okay? What is the movie about? It's about fate, it's about destiny, with a sense of humor. Yeah, the movie's funny, okay, it's got some funny moments. Um, so basically, after that book, dollar bill exchange, they went on an elevator, okay? They went into the hotel, went on separate elevators, and if they pressed on the same button, um, they would, you know, end up in each other's arms or whatever, okay? Well, her elevator went straight to the, well, they did press the same button, okay? They pressed the same floor. But her elevator went straight up, his, had a bunch of people come in and the elevator stopped for a minute and didn't work and stuff like that. And they, they were checking like every single floor, okay? It was funny. Because the boy <laughs> touched all the buttons and they were stopping on every single floor up. So it was funny. But the, the, the problem was that she waited on the floor, he didn't stop there. She gave up, she left, okay? And he missed her by like a, a second, man! Just a second! I was like, no! Oh, if she just stuck around for like just one more second, he, he could have found her, okay? So, they assume they've lost each other forever, pretty much, okay? Um, years passed by, um, they got engaged, stuff like that, to other people, whatever. But they couldn't get each other off their minds. They didn't, couldn't, uh, yeah. So he went on a search for her, even though he was, you know, engaged to be married and stuff like that. And he went on a huge search for her, and she was invited to his wedding and didn't know it. And it's, it was a huge, like, search movie, whatever. Like, it was a huge detective. For him, it was like a detective movie. He was running into people that, that know her and stuff like that. And he had a friend to come with him and stuff. <laughs> Whatever, right? They, they both have, like, a buddy. But... Anyway. 
long story short, they end up together. I think I was happy, happy ending. <laughs> so uh, the movie came out in two thousand one, I believe. And there's a good deal of special features on the DVD. I don't know about the Blu-ray, but I bet the Blu-ray has the same amount of special features because there's not really that much out there. Um, let's see. There's there's commentary. There's some behind the scenes, um, deleted scenes, still galleries and trailers. Okay, the usual jazz. There's a little read-up if you wanna. Okay, so there's just a little bio for you, and apparently you can get the soundtrack. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's Serendipity, okay, and uh, if you're wondering what Serendipity is, it's the restaurant they had their first date at, okay, and they end up together there, okay, um, and it is an actual restaurant in Upper Manhattan, okay, it's in the, uh, Serendipity 3 is an, a real restaurant in New York, and I don't know, maybe I'll take my girl someday, <laughs> there someday, okay, <laughs> so yeah, that is Serendipity, uh, have you seen it? What do you think of it? Um, what is your favorite romantic comedy? Comment below. Let me know. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later.